They're protesting because they're stuck. African migrants who've made a dangerous journey over thousands of kilometers up through Latin America in the hope of reaching the US. But instead, they've ended up here in Tapachula, South Mexico. The Mexican government, wary of incurring the wrath of American President Donald Trump, won't let them cross the country to get to the US border and is only prepared to let them leave via the south back to Guatemala. So for the last four months, around a thousand people have camped around the gates of the Tapachula Migrant Detention Center in Limbo. Look at the conditions here. It rains every day. We're camped amidst the water. The authorities haven't told us anything. We're being dehumanized. This bottleneck's been caused by a change of policy in Mexico before they give Asian and African migrants permission to cross the country and leave by whichever border they could, including the US one. But with the pressure from the states, that's ended. And with it, the hopes of those like 17-year-old Russo, that's not his real name, who thought he was almost there. Like many, he came in through Brazil, where visa requirements are looser. Amid the lawless jungle between Colombia and Panama, he lost his father. So we climbed the mountain. By the time we were coming down, he slept. When he slept, he hit the head in a, in a rock. And then we went to the river. When he went to the river, it was like too late. But when they took him out, it was already too late. He's the only guy I had. He's the only parent I know. He's frightened to show his identity. He says that as a leader, he's under watch. Though the authorities have tolerated the presence of the camp, there have been occasional brushes. Mexico's offering them the chance of asylum, but that process is long and uncertain. In Tapachula, the queue for applicants goes around the block. Most here anyway say that's not what they want. They feel if they can just hold out, they'll eventually get through. Given the current position of both Mexico and the US, that seems very unlikely. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Tapachula.